You know, it's bad enough Canada is expecting 400 illegal, oops, I mean, irregular migrants per day to waltz across the border from the U.S. this summer. But on Canada's left coast, another immigration scam is taking place. It's called birth tourism. And yes, taxpayers are on the hook for this con job too. Well, it just never ends, this strategy of gaming immigration systems of Western democracies, including Canada's. Case in point, tourists, mostly Chinese nationals, are visiting British Columbia in droves, but they're not coming to take snapshots of BC's beautiful vistas. Rather, they're coming to deliver babies. It's a win-win scenario. The procedure, in many instances, ends up being free of charge, even though it's not supposed to be free. And because the child is born on Canadian soil, he or she is an instant Canadian citizen and is therefore entitled to all of Canada's social programs should the child choose to live here. Richmond, B.C. is a hub for so-called birth tourism. According to Vancouver Coastal Health, in the 2016-2017 fiscal year, there were 379 births to foreign nationals at the Richmond Hospital alone. And in the first half of fiscal 2017-2018, foreign nationals accounted for almost 20% of all births at the Richmond Hospital. 20%. And sometimes it can be a costly endeavor if there are complications in delivery. For example, a story in the Richmond News notes that Vancouver Coastal Health has filed a civil claim worth more than $1 million against a Chinese woman who skipped the bill at the Richmond Hospital after giving birth in 2012. Yan Zai was served with a notice of civil claim after not paying her $300,000 hospital bill that dates back to October 2012. Zai endured a complicated delivery and then there were complications with the baby later. In any event, with interest, her invoice now sits at 1.2 million and counting. But I think Vancouver Coastal Services would have better luck suing the Easter Bunny for non-delivery of chocolate eggs, given that, according to reports, it's actually unclear where Yan Zai is at the moment. And even if they find her, good luck getting her to pay that seven-figure invoice. I think those in the restaurant business call this scam Dine and Dash, but at the Richmond Hospital, it's Birth and Dash. And keep in mind the Yan Zai case is just one example of the hundreds of so-called birth tourism scenarios that are occurring in BC. But the question arises, why is this scam even being tolerated? Despite millions in unpaid bills, the Richmond Hospital still has a registration process open to foreign nationals who want to give birth. But it doesn't have to be this way. At the BC Women's Hospital in Vancouver, foreigners who want to register to give birth are now banned from doing so. And since one of the goals of this scheme is to turn Canada into a glorified passport mill, perhaps the time has come to rethink our citizenship rules. After all, in 1983, the United Kingdom changed its rules. Like Canada today, it used to be that if you were born on British soil, you automatically received British citizenship. But since 83, one of the child's parents must be a British citizen in order for the child to receive British citizenship. Alas, there would appear to be zero political will in Ottawa when it comes to making a similar rule change in Canada, given Justin Trudeau's love for open borders. Sure, the system is being gamed, and yes, it's costing Canadian taxpayers millions of dollars per year. But at the end of the day, birth tourism, in the eyes of the Trudeau Liberals, it's diverse. And diversity is our strength, even when it isn't. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.